In this video I'm going to show you how to knit diagonal basket weave stitch. For this demonstration I have 40 stitches on work but this stitch should work with any other even number of stitches. I'll begin on the right side and I'll skip the two stitches at the very edge and transfer the next one, one stitch to the right so I'm transferring the third one on top of the second and we'll transfer the fourth on top of the fifth stitch. So now I've emptied two needles. Skip two and that also includes the needle that now has two stitches. Grab the next two stitches and transfer them all together over two stitches. And you can see now when we're going to complete the transfer, we're going to place that second stitch on one of the needles that we emptied previously. I'm going to repeat that again just so you can see a bit better. As you can see with every transfer we're emptying two needles and then when we do the next transfer we'll place a stitch back on one of those two needles. This time is to the one on the left side. Again skip two, grab the next two and now when we're completing the transfer we're placing a stitch on top of this needle. This one will still remain without a stitch. You might feel a little bit of resistance when you're doing this transfer so make sure you're testing your tension and you are using the right yarn. Ideally a yarn with a little bit of give. Just a little tip to make the transfers a little bit easier is when completing the transfer before actually sliding the stitches on top of your tool pull the needles towards you like so. As you can see the needles here are already ready to receive that stitch so you don't have to do it manually if that makes sense. Now I have four stitches left and at the edge is just a little bit different. Instead of skipping two and grabbing the two stitches I will just skip one and grab the next one and just transfer it over that stitch to place it on the same needle which we always transferred on. So only at the edges the transfers are a little bit different but everywhere else is the same. Now that we've completed all the transfers I will pull the needles all the way out and knit four rows. For the next transfer I will mirror that. So for the previous one we began the transfer on the right side of the sample, now we will begin on the left side. Just like I did on the other side I will skip two stitches and then transfer once to the left and once to the right to empty two needles. We'll skip two including the needle which now has two stitches Grab the next two and transfer to the left this time. So I'm transferring over two stitches so that I place a stitch on one of the needles that I've emptied, this time the one on the right side. And again we'll repeat the same across.
So now again, I have four stitches left and I'm just going to skip one and transfer the next one over one stitch to place one stitch on one of the empty needles. We'll pull the needles all the way out and knit four more rows. I have now completed one repeat of the pattern. To continue with another repeat, I will again transfer on the right side of my sample this time. Skip two and then empty two needles by transferring once to the right and once to the left. Skip two and transfer the next two to the right over two stitches or over two needles to place one stitch on top of one of the empty needles. Again, I completed all the repeats and now I have four stitches left. So if you want to make sure that your edges are nice and even, just make sure that when you're completing the last transfer, you are left with four stitches. This way, when you're doing the first transfer before beginning going over the stitches, you have a nice edge and you can actually sew the edge nicely. But of course, if you want to add more stitches or have less, it's up to you. This is just an idea. complete the second repeat before we transfer to empty two needles on the right side now I will do it on the left again In order to not get confused on which side I did the previous transfer and not make any mistakes, I will write down all the row number where I will do a transfer. In this instance, we are doing every four rows. So I wrote the first transfer on row zero, then four, eight, 12. And next to the number, I wrote 
R and L for right and left. This way I know that on row zero, I began transferring from the right side and then on row four, after I've completed the first transfer and then knitted four rows, I will do on the left and continue like that for however many rows I want to knit. I just wanted to share this with you because this is the easiest way for me to kind of keep track of where I am if I don't have a chart, for example, and wanted to share that with you in case it will be useful for you as well. I am now on row 16 and I know that I have to begin on the right side and here's the finished sample. For this sample, I used a few ends of yarn, some finer than others. I have some cotton, some cashmere, and I think I have some viscose as well. And for the stripes here, for the ones in navy, I used 100% cotton. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and you will give this stitch a try. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.